Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my first update for the Graveyard Project Pan. I introduced this back two months ago. This is a collaborative project pan that was started by my friend Emily. Her channel is Emily and Max, where she does a ton of project panning and beauty related content. She started this project back in 2019 and I have done it faithfully every year since because it's just such a treat and honestly it's proven to be a very successful project pan for me. This project pan has a spooky theme to it. It wraps up on Halloween day on the 31st of October. We do updates every other month on the 30th of the month and it runs for six months. So this project, the spooky theme involves two separate categories of products that you can select and they're all products from your makeup graveyard. So we have two categories. One is collecting cobwebs. And um, why don't I just talk about the products in the collecting cobwebs category? So collecting cobwebs is products that are getting older, things that you're not reaching for, things that have been neglected, things that you just wanna kind of bring back to the forefront and reach for more consistently. So I'm gonna talk about those products and then I'll share with you the other category. That's just how I'm feeling right now. That's just the vibe we're going for. So in my collecting cobwebs category, I chose to pull in this product right here because this item is very close to its expiry. This is the Derma E Essentials Sun Protection Mineral Powder SPF 30. And this is set to expire in July of 2021. The day you're seeing this video is going to be the 30th of June and obviously I've not yet finished it up. However, I have made really great progress on getting use out of this over the past two months. I really didn't know what to expect, but I'm feeling very hopeful that I'll be able to finish this up within the next short while. By my next update, it should be empty. So I started all the way up there and now I'm down to about here. I should mark that, but I don't have a marker that's very handy to me right this moment. The reason why this is going to expire, I believe, is because of the actual SPF in it. So. I don't have a problem with using this after its expiry date. It also is just one whole month. So going into July using this for its sun protection, I don't see it being an issue. But generally I've been using this as more of like a blotting kind of powder throughout the day. So sometimes I have to hop on a call midday for work all of a sudden, like without expectation. It's just like I'm getting a call from my boss. He just, you know, we got it. We got a chat. So I just end up kind of blotting this onto my face just so that I don't have a ton of shine when I hop on camera. Some days I don't have any other makeup on and I just kind of pop this on to mattify things and look a little bit better. And then other times I've been using this as a setting powder, but not really that frequently. Most often I use this as a dry shampoo because this applicator that it comes in is like a brush. So I can like shake this onto my scalp and kind of just dab it onto my hairline. And the powder is great because it's not a white. It actually just blends into my hair very, very well. And it just seems to absorb the oils with no problem whatsoever. And then I have actually taken this um, apart. I'm a little nervous, why am I doing this? But you can just unscrew this. Oh, sounded horrible, but you can do that. And you can actually just use the product out of it that way or depot it into a larger container. And so I've kind of, I've been using it in a variety of different ways, but there still is quite a bit of product remaining in here. So as long as I continue to make the same amount of progress and reach for this as consistently as I did since my introduction of this project, it shouldn't be a problem to get this used up by my next update. I just need to make sure that I'm reaching for it at this same rate, but I foresee it being ready ready to roll out by the August 30th update, which is the next update to this project. And then the next product in this category is a lip gloss. Now it's not one that's that old in my collection. I'd say it's still under two years old, which is fine by me. That's relatively new for most of the products in my collection, but um, it's something that I just was neglecting. I wasn't reaching for this. I was choosing other lip glosses over this and I love this formula. So it was just sad to see this being underutilized. It is the Becca Glow Gloss in the shade Opal. I've been really enjoying reaching for this. This shade is just a gorgeous kind of beige pink, you know? 
it's a beautiful like nude for me it actually ends up looking virtually invisible on my lips but it makes them look very juicy and healthy it has a very slight shine to it that isn't like too over the top and it does have some like micro shimmer kind of particles running through it but not like in an apparent way in any sort of way it just makes my lips look really full it has this minty kind of plumping sort of sensation to it as well and I really enjoy it my goal with this was not to use it up because there's quite a bit of product in here actually this is half a gram of lip gloss and so the goal with this is just to make it look loved and to kind of see some usage on it and unfortunately right now even though I feel like I've reached for it so so much I haven't made any sort of visual progress it still looks completely opaque in the tube so I'm gonna be keeping it in for at least the next update but perhaps it's something that I'll just keep in this project ongoing and just ensure that I'm reaching for it very consistently we shall see but for now it's not ready to roll out of this project unfortunately and the third Collecting Cobwebs product that I have is this right here. This is the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place. I feel like this is probably one of my most underutilized palettes in my collection, but there was a time when I was like head over heels and I reached for this so, 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 so much. It's never been rolled into my Panos Eyeshadows Project Pan, and perhaps that's part of the reason why I just don't feel like I've made the progress on it that I would have liked to because I've had this now in my collection for I believe three years and my goal with this was not to be able to hit pan on any of the specific shadows because I've not yet done that in any of these but my goal with this was to reach for it 25 times. I am slacking. I'm like nowhere near that goal. I'm at six uses so that's good. That's good but I haven't used this palette to its full potential like I've really reached into more so these neutrals, like I wore this through my brows a few times, I wore this as an inner corner highlight. I really haven't played with this palette as intensely as I would have hoped by now. So in the month of July and August, I wanna play with the colorful shades a lot more. I just haven't been playing with makeup in the capacity that I kind of would like to be right now. I have talked about it actually in a video that I filmed today, but it should be up before for this or might be up after this. I just have been, there's a lot going on in my life. That's, we'll just leave it at that. So six uses is okay. I still have 19 uses outstanding, which is gonna take me quite some time, but I, I think I should be able to do that. I should be able to reach that goal by the end of this um, project. And so that's okay. And then the other category for this project pan is the resurrection category. This category to me is really the best avenue to use up those products that unfortunately I didn't get to use up in project pans previously. So these are the products that you're bringing back from previous project pans, whether you did not hit the goal on them in the past or there's something that you did hit your goal on and now you wanna kind of use them up or reach for them more and just bring them back again to the forefront and prioritize them again. For me, I have selected three products that have actually each been in two different project pans independently. And I want to finish them up this year because I've now, this is the third project pan they have each been in. So it's time to get them out of my collection. So the first item I wanna talk about is this Becca um, Sunlight Bronzer in the shade Bronze Bondi. This is just a mini of the Becca bronzers, but for some reason, this is the never ending bronzer. So this says it has an advertised weight of 1.7 grams, which is like less than your typical single shadow or like just about that, but it's never ending. Like I would have thought that I'd be checking in today after two months of using this in this project and it would be empty and look at that. There is still so, so, so much product. I've barely expanded the pan. How is that even possible? And I've used this a lot. I'm wearing it today and I'm wearing a a hell of a lot of it today as well and when I've been wearing this lately I just go ham in it like I am like okay girl let's just get this done let's be hella bronzed and just live in bronzer and swim in bronzer but for some reason <laughs> it just will not die like it will not go away but I like it I love the formula enough that I ended up actually purchasing a full size of this in the shade down which is a bit more suited I think to my complexion year-round 
So this color, I have been going pretty heavy handed with it, but it is quite deep, but oh my gosh. So yeah, as I said, this has been in two previous project pans, one of which was this project pan last year. And then prior to that, I had it in a, I believe it was my nine in 2019 project and it took forever to hit pan on this. And now it's taking forever to use it up. This is insane because this was a point perk. It was part of a set of Becca products that I received from Sephora a lifetime ago, I feel like at this point. And this just will not die. It will not die. I like it. I'm hoping it'll be done by the end of this project, but based on how much progress I've made in the past two months, I'm not entirely sure of that, to be honest. This next product is like a permanent fixture in the Graveyard Project pan for me. It has been in this project annually. It's been in here in 2019, 2020, and now in 2021, with the goal of previously hitting pan on it, but now my goal is to finish it up. It's my Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. It's my oldest makeup product in my collection. I've spoken about it endlessly on my channel over the past few years because it's old as heck, but I'm trying to finish it up now, as I said. Again, I'm not sure that's gonna happen. Like you can see, there's still quite a bit of product in there. The panage is pretty cool. Like I have definitely hit quite a bit of pan, but there still is a lot of product in here. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I haven't reached for this as much as I likely should have over the past two months. All of a sudden, it's just the almost the end of June. I am filming this probably about, well, exactly about 11 days in advance. So I could have made more progress in the next 11 days. But as I said, my life is a little crazy right now. So I'm just trying to film this kind of as a batch filming day so that I can for sure get this up on time. But yeah, in 11 days, I'm sure I wouldn't have been able to like expand the pan too significantly. But do we think I'll be able to finish this by the end of this year? I don't know. A lot of you seem to have faith when I introduced this in this project. And now, how do you feel? Do you want to reevaluate that, that decision? Because I don't think I'm going to finish it. It, it, it can't be around for Grey Bear Project Pan in 2022. It just can't be. I refuse to allow that to be the case. So either way, I want to get it finished up this year, but maybe not by the end of October. But I am going to make a very, very dedicated effort to use that girl up. And then the last product I have here is, yeah, something that I've had in many of Project Pans. I just said I've had all of these in two previous project pans. So this one is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This is in the shade Precious Petals. Gorgeous, pinky kind of toned, like almost like a rose golden kind of colored highlighter. And I do have some pretty great panual on here, like Juicy Lucy panual for sure stuff. It's slow going. The progress on it is slow going. I should have worn it today. Should we just put a little bit on with my finger? This is not recommended. This is a little bit reckless, but I'm gonna put just a tiny bit on with my finger as we wrap up this video. Um, Cause I wasn't wearing it and I haven't been wearing it actually all that often because as you can see, it's pretty intensive. And that's just not been the girl that I've been lately. That's just not my vibe lately. I do love me a highlighted look, but this is just not, not who I am at this moment. I used to love, 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 love this product. Like it looks pretty, but this is just not the vibe that I'm going for lately. But I have been using this, you know, on occasion. There definitely is progress that I have made. So that's good, but um, it's slow going. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna commit myself to finishing this by the next update. There's, I'm looking at it now and I'm like, there's no way that this should be hanging on for four more months. This should be done in two. I'm gonna wear it on my shoulders. I'm gonna do that right now too. <laughs> After I film this video, I'm not doing anything, so whatever. I'm gonna put a little bit on my shoulders, but I'm just going to wear this on my shoulders. I'm gonna wear this on my eyelids. I'm gonna wear this everywhere. By my next update, I'm really, really hoping that this will be an empty pan. I kind of, I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm setting that as a goal for myself and I'm gonna keep that in my mind for the next two months. I'm gonna make that happen. I'm gonna make it happen. So yeah, that's everything. Those are all six products. That was a slightly chaotic video, wasn't it? But 
This is now the third video I filmed for today and uh, so we're just getting a little loopy. But that is everything for today's video. Be sure to check out the playlist down in the description box as well as in the end card of this video so that you can see everyone else who's participating here on YouTube. This um, also is a project pan that a lot of people are participating in over on Instagram with the hashtag graveyard project pan or graveyard project pan 2021. You can search both or either, whichever you prefer. And yeah, that's going to be everything for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.